Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another Sage 50 tutorial. This tutorial will cover the basics of how to compile and file a VAT return using Sage accounts. This is Sage Instant Accounts, Sage 50 Accounts and Sage 50 Cloud. The first thing you need to do is to ensure that all data on Sage is accurate for the VAT quarter that you wish to compile and file. So it's currently October here um, as I create this video. Let's say your quarter was uh, the previous three months. So your quarter may be July, August, September. If that is your quarter, ensure that all transactions are entered on Sage for that quarter. Your VAT return is only going to be as accurate as the data on Sage, because obviously it uses the data on Sage to produce the VAT return. So what you need to do is ensure, is ensure that all customer invoices have been raised for that quarter and that all payments have been entered on Sage. Uh, payments have been received. Same with supplier accounts. You will need to ensure that all supplier invoices are on the system and all payments to those suppliers um, has been posted to Sage. And then with the bank accounts, ensure everything is reconciled. If you've got a, a business bank account, a business uh, savings account, a petty cash account, a company credit card, the list goes on and on everything has to be reconciled for the period because if it's not reconciled there's a good chance that something is missing on sage or something's not quite right there could be a deep cut transaction transactions missing so the vat return will not be accurate so your first step and the majority of the the work involved in creating a vat return and filing a vat return is to do with the information is to do with the bookkeeping Everything has to be accounted for and reconciled. If you do that, then the rest of the VAT return is easy. So if you keep it on top of your books, if you're keeping it on top of your accounts and they're accurate, then doing a VAT return is relatively simple. If everything is reconciled and up to date on Sage for the quarter that you wish to file a VAT return for, then ensure that your VAT details are co correct on Sage. So go to settings at the top here on the top ribbon, go down to company preferences. We can open the company preferences box, which looks like this. Along the top here, there'll be a tab for VAT. If you click on that, you'll need to ensure that your VAT registration number is entered and that that is accurate. You have to ensure that the right VAT scheme has been selected for most people that would be standard VAT but it could be that they're on some sort of flat rate or cash accounting scheme and that will need choosing from this drop down list. If you are going to use Sage for MTD making tax digital then you'll need to tick this box here and once that box is ticked you'll need to enter your MTD HMRC login details here. We have eSubmissions credentials You'll enter that information here as well as the, the contact details. And once that's entered, you'll click OK to save everything. You will not be able to file a VAT return using Sage um, online with, with uh, MTD if this information is not entered. So everything has to be accurate on this page. If you're not using MTD, you can simply just fill in this top box here and that will be fine. Just ensure that the enable making tax digital is not ticked. Okay, once that's done, all you need to do is go to the left sidebar here and click on VAT. Alternatively, you can go to modules and click on VAT. Whichever route you go, you end up on this page here. Now this shows a list of VAT returns that have been uh, created and filed on Sage accounts. There's nothing showing because this is purely just practice data. But once we create a VAT return, you know, it will show on this list. There is an icon at the top here, VAT return, just click on that and a dummy sort of template appears. 
you'll have to select the quarter for the VAT return. Now, once you have filed a VAT return on Sage accounts, this will appear automatically for the next quarter. So if our VAT return uh, for the first quarter is, let's do um, August, September, October. So 1st of August to the end of October, then Sage will automatically create the next VAT return to be November, December, January. If you click on include reconcile transactions, there's a question mark here which, which explains what that is. If you feel overwhelmed at any point doing a VAT return, it might be best that you outsource to an accountant um, or a bookkeeper, but I'll go through that later on in the video. Once you've selected your quarter, simply click calculate VAT return. It will bring up any transactions that Sage feels you need to review. So this is earlier unreconciled transactions. So these are transactions that are appearing on Sage that weren't included on a previous return, um, which are dated uh, before the quarter. So if we want to include that, we can simply highlight it and click include. If we want to ignore it, we can click ignore. If we include that, you'll then see the figures appear here. So we have our nine boxes, which is standard for VAT returns. And we have the figures entered automatically, including the VAT due to HMRC or the VAT due back from HMRC to the business. We also have the quarter state at the top here. So this will be filed with HMRC if you use the MTD. If not, you can use the information here to file your return using your HMRC account. But it's, we're not quite over yet. We need to click reconcile VAT return. So we just close this box now. It's not actually going to show as uh, prepared or filed on Sage. So if we click on reconcile VAT, and then click yes, the VAT return will then be reconciled. It's got some important information over here. If you want to submit the VAT return, use an MTD, you click that here. Submit online, it will do that for you. If you wish to post a journal for the VAT return, so show that the VAT return has been filed on the accounts, click post journal and it will do it for you. It will post a journal on the accounts to show that a VAT return has been filed. You can print the VAT return. Once you're finished though, just click close and you can see that the VAT return is now showing up the period and the amount due. If I double click, we can come back to this box. We can mark it as submitted if we want to close the box again. The status is now submitted before it was pending. And once a payment has been made for the VAT return, once this £95 has been made, you can enter the details here, such as the date, uh, the bank account the payment was made from, and just click on post bank payment and mark as paid. If I do that now, then you'll see that the paid column has a Y for yes, and VAT transfer, we had a Y for yes. That's it. It's pretty straightforward. The actual preparing the VAT return in the sense of using the VAT module is very straightforward. You know, checking through the VAT return for errors is relatively straightforward. And filing the VAT return is simply clicking buttons. The majority of the work involved in a VAT return is making sure that all the transactions are recorded on the software and that everything is reconciled. Now, I mentioned earlier, if you feel overwhelmed at any point, it might be best to outsource to an accountant or get some sort of training or help with VAT returns. Feel free to go to my website and uh, inquire for the services we offer or I offer. If you need help with inputting data on Sage, just go to free staff, go down to learn Sage. And then there's a number of videos here about inputting data on Sage, doing bank reconciliations and that sort of thing. There's a more extensive VAT return course just here. You might want to go ahead and have a look at that, but it is, it's not outdated, but it is older. The audio and visual is not as good as this video. If you're interested in outsourcing VAT, just click on services and follow the links uh, to outsource to me.
which is the the bookkeeping master so if we just go back we have accounting services just here need an accountant and then you can get in contact using the VAT services tab thank you so much for watching I've actually been very unwell I'm very poorly so apologies if I sound a bit boring or a bit down in this video it's not intentional I'm just really not very well um, but I am able to you know do these videos while I'm unwell uh, so it, you know there is a sort of blessing in disguise because I got behind with making these videos okay if you have any questions, feel free to get in contact.